like hearted. So in a previous tutorial, I showed you guys different ways to use chalkboard paint, and today I'm gonna to show you the different types of chalk and the pros and cons of each. So what I'm gonna show you today is I've got three different types here. First, I've got my chalk pen, I've got regular good old chalk, and then I've got this charcoal white pen. So first I'm gonna show you just chalk. So this is just the regular, it's a big old Crayola pen chalk that I found. The cool thing I like about these is that it's already got like a tip, so it looks like it acts like a pencil, because I always get frustrated when I have regular chalk and it's got that straight, kind of dull tip. So I would say even if you have that kind of chalk, see if you can sharpen it or shave it down in order to create a pointy tip, which makes it a lot easier for writing. So the great thing about chalk is it's the good old fashioned chalk, right? So you can very easily kind of write with it. I'm just gonna do the same word for all. Kind of have my a trace so you guys can see. So the cool thing about chalk is this is probably my go-to. So the pros about this one is that it gives you obviously that authentic chalk feel. It's really easy um, to shade in and kind of give some definition. I would say the only cons to it is sometimes that it can get a little bit messy and you may not be able to get some of those defined details. So if you're maybe doing more of a calligraphy font or something a little bit more intricate or a font that's got finer lines, it may not be as easy to do with regular chalk. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you is the chalk pen. So these have become really popular lately. They're great, you can find them anywhere, Michaels, Paper Source, and they come in different size tips. So this one's like an extra fine, just as you would find a regular pen, and this one's got like a broader, thicker one. Um, I like these pens, they're really great um, if you want something that's a little bit more permanent. So it's kind of super nice that they don't come off as easily or erase um, as like easily as a regular chalk would. So that's kind of the advantage if you're looking to do something that needs a little bit more longevity, whether maybe it's a wedding sign or it's a board that you have in your kitchen that you don't expect to actually change out on a regular basis. So that's kind of the pros, I believe, of the chalk pens. Now the cons are, they are like kind of like I said, the pro was that they stay uh, like for a while. The con is that they're a little bit harder, I found, to erase, and they kind of leave a little residue um, kind of marked behind. So you definitely need to either scrub or plan on using it for more of a permanent solution, I would say, for chalk. So I like these pens. I would say, though, that when you're trying to do um, a script or something more formal, they're a little bit harder. It's kind of like a paint pen where you have to, I found, I constantly have to shake it in order to get enough of the chalk to come out. And I usually have a side, a piece of paper, or here's my practice scrap um, chalkboard in order to do it. But the one advantage of this is like you're gonna actually get a super solid pigmented white. As you can see, it's a lot stronger looking than if you were going to do the chalk. It almost looks more of like a paint than it does a chalk. I find that these ones are actually really great when you actually wanna do maybe more of a modern font because I think these work better just because of the pens and more of like a straight line look, I feel like they're much stronger and the advantage of using them for a much more modern, simple font versus a cursive, they kind of get a little stuck when you're trying to be, they're not as fluid. So my new discovery is actually these charcoal pencils. So these are my new favorite things and the third option I'm gonna show you today for how to what to use for your chalkboard. So I love this. This one is called um, Charcoal White. So you can see the pencil's white. I think this is an awesome solution and like I said, it might be my new favorite. 
Um, it's much more, gives me the flexibility to have more of a free hand um, when I'm in doing the cursive or the writing. And you can get much more detailed work with this pencil. So I think those are definitely the pros. The cons are that, you know, it's not, you can't cover as much space as you would with the chalk as quickly. So it might take you a little bit longer to write out your saying or do your crafts. But I think from kind of going forward, this might be my go-to. And it wipes off just as easily as you would with chalk. Just having like a white rag makes it come off really easily off your chalkboard. So um, I really like to get in detail. I like doing cursive a lot. So this kind of gives me the advantage of kind of almost having the chalk look, but more of being able to have that detail in it because I've got this finer tip of the chalk. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of learning lesson on the types of chalk that I like to use and the pros and cons of each. If there's different tips or kind of other products that you guys like to use for your chalkboard, please, please comment below and let me know. I love hearing from you guys and it's always kind of nice to kind of share what everyone else is doing. So, um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this and for more DIY tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on IamLikeHearted.com.